What is going on guys and today we are going to be making something a little bit magical. And it's magical because it is butterbeer. You know, wrong butterbeer, but still butterbeer. And for this we're going to be back at the stove top. So I'm going to cut to me earlier. Okay, so we are into the cooking part of the section. We always seem to be at, this, at the oven at this point for some reason. This is like three weeks in a row. Strange. But yeah, we have put a cup of brown sugar and two tablespoons of water into the thing. We're going to stir it frequently with a good stir and then it's going to come to a simmer at about 240 Fahrenheit which is 130 degrees centigrade and after that we're going to add more ingredients so stay tuned. Okay so it's two temperature it is simmering. I mean it looks a bit hellacious but it's, it's, I think it's right. We need to add the butter, then we need salt, cider vinegar, and a quarter cup of heavy cream or double cream. Okay, so that is all the ingredients in. I spilled a little bit of it. Look, that's bad. Now I'm going to take it off the heat, let it cool, and then we'll proceed from there. So we're just going to make like the foamy head. Apparently it doesn't just come with the foamy head. You have to make it. And that's literally just half a cup of double cream and two tablespoons of brown sugar. And then we're going to whisk it for two to three minutes. Easy. It's just while this is cool then saving time. Because we're clever. That's just the topping done. It was literally just brown sugar and heavy cream. Mix it up for two minutes on um, like an electric whisk. I'm sure you can just do it with hand whisking as well. And yeah, I'm still waiting for that to cool. And then I'm gonna mix the rum into it. And then that is it for the whole cooking portion of this. Which I'm sure we're all glad for. Okay, so we are adding the rum. I'm just gonna add white rum. You can add dark rum as well, but I think the ratio is a bit different. So add white rum. We're going to make it a bit more rummier than it would normally be. Because we need alcohol in this. Christmas. And it's Christmas. And yeah, oh you can just use rum extract and then it's not alcoholic at all. But even like with the amount of rum that we're going to put in this, it's 5 tablespoons. 75 ml. So we'll round it up to 80. So it's not a lot of... <laughs> I'm not going to make any noise. It just did. <laughs> Little. <laughs> so it's going to be about 80 ml into the mixture. But then that mixture is then going to be divided into like four, maybe even more. And then watered down with cream soda and everything. So like, for what you actually get, it's not massively alcoholic. You can even put more alcohol in like later if you really wanted to. But for now, we're just going to put the like small amount of alcohol in there. And then also, like, like I said, you can put rum extract, extract as well, and it's not even alcoholic, so give it to your kids. Just give the alcoholic one to your kids. Keep them quiet. So yeah, let's add the alcohol. Okay, so hopefully you made all that. Hopefully you followed and it's all good. So we have a mixture. It's all brown, but it's, it's quite fluid. It's good. It's got a in it. Got our topping. But here's our cream soda. Here are our glasses which I've put in the freezer to make them frosted to make this extra cool. I mean, it's already cool because it's butter beer. But... Although, I'm not a fan of Harry Potter. My girlfriend's more of a fan of Harry Potter. You what? But, you know. I still try butter beer. I think it's mostly because I look a bit like Harry Potter because I've got glasses and I've got dark hair. So, yeah. A lot of deep-seated emotions in that. So you need like 60 mil in each of this. Already making a mess. That's 60 ml in each. Then we add 60 ml of cream soda. To stir it. So, lovely mix. And then with the additional cream soda, top off the glass. Almost all the way to the top. I mean, I don't even know why they asked you to make like a uh, topping for the head because, I mean, look at that. That's a good enough head. I mean, what? that's probably going to be butter beer for you. So now we just do the topping. I'm going to spoon the topping onto one of them and then the other one, we're just going to see if it makes any difference. Because I don't think it will. Yeah, 
that's not, that's just literally like sitting on the top. There's no need for it. So there is the final product. And then would you like to taste them? Yes, please. You can have this one that doesn't have the topping in it. Doesn't have what? The topping on it. Oh, okay. I don't think it needs it. What do yeah. you do? Tastes like toffee. Toffee. Mm-hmm. Acceptable. It's acceptable. <laughs> there you go, it's acceptable. <laughs> does it taste like the butter beer from? Uh, it do, yeah, it does a little bit. A little bit. From what I recall, like sickly sweet. Yeah. Kind of tasting. So there you go, it's average and sickly sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> nah, I get what like a little think? bit of butter from it. Do you like it? Yeah, I think it's mostly just the cream, like from the cream soda you can taste. Yeah, that. Then you do get like the toffee. That makes it better, it. I think. I think it's because I know it's got butter in, and I don't want to be drinking butter. It creeps us out a little bit. It's only a little bit of I know. That's the thought, though. Oh. Out of 10, what do you give it? Mm. I give it a 7 out of 10. Do you? It's nice. I think it's interesting. I think it's a bit different. Yeah. Well, what do you give it a five? Five. It's just average. Yeah. Average, sickly, sweet top. Uh huh, yeah. There you go then. Okay, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace, love, and hugs. And I'll see you when you see me. Bye.